Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll see how to represent the quarter joint in in a sketchbook. So basically, this quarter joint is used to connect rigidly two shafts to, uh, in order to transmit motion in an axial direction. It is used where uh, some piston rods are connected with the cross heads and uh, some uh, valve rods and the stems of the valve rod to be connected. So basically, we are considering this proportionate uh, dimensions for a for considering for a particular diameter for basic diameter that is considered it can be given or can be assumed as 20 mm or 25 mm approximately and continue the drawing so for the diameter 25 so the proportionate uh, proportionates of uh, three parts that is socket figure and quarter are provided in this figure using this figure we are going to calculate uh, represent calculate and represent the quarter joint in, in a sketchbook so this quarter contains the taper 1 is to 30 and we are going to see how to use the taper and represent that also so assuming for diameter 25 mm uh, let us distribute the three parts 1 2 and 3 separately and identify the dimensions these are the dimensions that are obtained for di 25 mm diameter so we can see that spigot has got a very simple uh, uh, representations so basically from uh, drawing an axis line we can start representing this pigot and then the socket and then the quarter so two one and three part number two first the second is the socket and then third it will be the quarter so a center line and with respect to the center line in our sketch in a sketchbook one box is uh, 10 mm so 1.5 boxes are uh, nothing but is nothing but 15 mm and for calcula calculating for spigot dimensions diameter 25 is mentioned first 12.5 12.5 and 30 on the other end so 15 and 15 here one and a half box and one and a half box and this length is 74 approximately 75 and 10 mm can be mentioned like this very uh, simple representation and it is not to dimension like this this this, this, this these numbers are represented only for representation purpose only uh, initially let uh, all the drawings being thin line later on we'll see which are the visible edges and then let us make dark, make it dark uh, with respect to the socket dimensions we can calculate the socket dimensions and uh, three major dimensions are associated with that is 64 45 and 25 which completes the socket drawing so we are completing the spigot and uh, socket drawing very easily with very less number of uh, dimensions and then diameter 25 on the left hand side we mentioned and uh, the gap of uh, from the left hand side end 12.5 mm or approximately 3 mm gap can be identified here with the spigot end and the socket uh, base and let us see what are the steps to draw the quarter so total length of the quarter is 3.5 d that is around 88 mm so 44 and 44 we have represented from the center and the taper is also given on the left hand side there must be a taper taper here we'll see how to represent the taper uh, as such let us see how to represent the taper is 1 is to 30 is given so middle dimension is 1.3d that is 32.5 from here till here so considering this 32.5 at the center we'll see taper ratio that is calculated by capital h minus small h by divided by l larger dimension minus smaller dimension divided by the length assuming x and y as you are seeing in the figure the larger dimension is x the smaller dimension is y y is 32.5 minus 1.46 that is uh, what we are obtaining it here and x is 32.5 plus 1.46 that is uh, it is an increased way x is a larger and y is the lesser from from 32.5 that is around 1.466 which can be assumed as 2 mm and continue to represent from center here 2 mm and here also 2 mm or 2 mm towards the left and 2 mm towards the right from this 32.5 where it ends we can complete the tapered line and then the fillet can be represented like this and inner lines we let us see and uh, some fillets can also can be provided approximately for 3 mm uh, radius and then draw the hidden lines draw the hidden lines and complete the fillets on all the corners wherever the, it is necessary and complete the hatching and wherever the if sometimes the side view may be asked sometimes the top view may be asked if side view is represented identify the three 
uh, diameters where uh, three circles can be drawn directly and then the side view of the quarter can be like that and then the fillet can be represented like this and inner lines we let us see and uh, some fillets can also can be provided approximately for 3 mm uh, radius the final answer to be represented with respect to the proportions only.